This is John Pluta, GeorgiaBees.com in Millersville, Georgia. What I want to talk to you today about is this little piece of equipment here that I started building several years ago. At first I had no idea what I'd use them for. Uh, mostly commercial beekeepers, they use them for drip trays. And uh, I use quite a few of them in my honey house and also I, I, I stack them in my truck when I'm on my, on my way uh, when I'm robbing honey. What we do a lot of times is we have them on the back of the truck. When we pull honey supers off, we put them on right on top of the boxes and slide them in. And what they're designed to be is they're, they're closed in on all four sides. Basically just three quarter inch wood. And the way we build them is I like pressure treated half inch plywood. You can use regular plywood with no problem. But when you construct these, this, this is about the only time I glue my bottom boards and, and I also use extra nails for the sides. But on these particular boards here, I make them a little wider than your standard uh, bottom boards because sometimes your honey supers have, uh, have a habit have, have of shifting. And what we do is they're, they're the exact same size, just a little bit over of your, of your hive body. And so they're basically 20 inches, 20 inches long and 16 and a quarter to 16 and a half inches wide. And then we put several coats of paint on them so that if the honey drips down, it stays on, on, on your drip pan. If the honey doesn't, if the honey does not absorb your moisture, I tip them sideways into, in, into my extractor. You'd be pretty surprised how, how much honey that you can salvage out of your drip trays. Otherwise, I, I put them out uh, for the bees to rob out in front of the hives. But some of the other pro, some of the other advantages that I use the same boards for. Because I uh, because I have the because I have these boxes um, bottom boards built already, I probably have between 50 and 100 somewhere. I have no clue, but I use them on top of the hives a lot of times, especially lately. Uh, for those of you who you who use the mighty way two pads, instead of building a separate little uh, uh, apparatus for spacing boards, these are designed uh, by, by using the drip tray upside down. And placing your your mighty way pads on, on your top bars, these work just fine. Also upside down. The other thing you can use it for is by having a little pad on, on your stacks of honey supers in the, in the winter time. When you use pear moth to keep the wax moths away, you sprinkle a little bit on top of your pads, and then use these to keep keep them covered. Also. Another possible use for well, uh, uh, also what you can do is also the, the apple garden day damp is the same kind of thing. A lot of times you don't have enough clearance on, on your top bars, and so when you peel your pad off, you can lay your apple guard for, for your menthol mite treatments, and the same thing. That gives you plenty of space uh, inside. So, some of the uh, uh, so a lot of your Florida guys. Uh, uh, they've gone to, to, to making their tops out of these uh, basically the same way they have a little groove cut for a reversible top but I don't like those uh, uh, myself what happens is they leave mine year round so what they're doing is uh, a lot of the guys are going to almonds in the springtime in February to California they're using the pollen uh, pollen patties to uh, build the bees up and they're putting their, their feed pads on top of here too but then what, what, what a lot of those guys do is they're leaving these on year round. And uh, if, you, if you do that, you're going to have a lot of burr comb pretty quickly. So I don't like them for that reason. The other small thing you could do is uh, I use a lot of propolis traps. And I prefer putting them on uh, a propolis trap on top and then with a bottom board so that it allows light in and, and so you have ventilation. But uh, you could use these here. Uh, it, it just it won't have the light. but really want to have the space I do not like using a propolis trap with it with, with the regular top on it because you get too much wood paint and everything else mixing with your propolis one of the other uh, great advantages that I like to have some of these around is just pretend this is a nice big strong beehive. 
if I come up to this sucker here and need to move this move this hive and I'm normally by myself and so to, to move this hive full of honey and everything it is a major project and so since I have a lot of these in my truck what I'll do is this, this is an idea for you is you slide these on your truck come up leave your top uh, to, to, do this, to, to do this like on a three-story hive you need two additional uh, drip trays, drip pans, and two additional tops. And what I will do is come up and break the hive apart and just set one hive here. What this does right here now is because your bottom is totally enclosed, the bees aren't going anywhere, then you can either duct tape the top, duct, duct, tape, duct, tape, duct tape them together, or use uh, ratchet straps to tighten them down. I would then put another drip tray, put a top on this hive here, break them apart, well actually, uh, yeah there's two, and then with, with the third top on here, and this breaks a big hive down to a manageable level, and it makes it much much easier to, 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 to transport. A lot of times I'll do this in the springtime when I'm splitting bees. I'll go through and, and find out where my brood is and get it all split up and, and then move these move these away. Now all I have to do is screen one one entrance because all these here, they're enclosed with the drip tray. The other thing I do is most of these are, are I paint most of these my wild colors. That way they are, I know exactly what they are when, when I'm trying to go through the stack and I don't get them misplaced and uh, just try to keep them all in one spot but uh, I, I keep some on the truck and, and uh, what happens is when you get your little honey sippers back when you, you always got to have at least one extra one to put in your honey house transfer your honey supers onto the, your first one th then you have a, then you have one extra uh, drip tray and just continue to keep on going but I'd highly recommend you building some of these here and um, uh, Actually, the first one I ever built, it was actually a mistake. I had miscut my bottom board instead of 21 and a half. I, I made, I'd cut it 20 inches, and I was rather upset. So I built these, and, and uh, then I found so many uses for them. I just continued to build them, and uh, they come in really handy. But uh, give them a try. They, they they work really good, and I use the pressure treated so they last forever because I'm going to have these. And uh, that's my tip for the week. Good beekeeping, John Fluter.